practices are down. Uh, you know, overall been going pretty good. Just give you a quick up, quick update on injuries. I know you guys obsess over wanting to know what the injury situation is. I guess that's because it gives you guys something to write about. But, um, uh, uh, Adam Pankey uh, had knee surgery yesterday. Uh, successful knee surgery. He's <coughs> obviously laid up and, and will be. Uh, expected like an October return, how guys come back from these, everybody's different, we don't know what it's going to be like, we don't know if we're going to be able to use them next year or, or that, we'll obviously figure that out in, uh, in, in, in September. Uh, Dante Camp was still out the shoulder, he'll be released in July. Uh, Chestnut's out with the knee, he'll be released in July. Juwan Snow is out with the shoulder, he'll be released in May. Uh, Avery Williams is out there. Uh, but he's in a green jersey, he's not full go. He'll be released full go in May. Uh, Andrew Bowie had a hamstring. Uh, you saw him in red today, so he's, he's got a hamstring. He's day to day. Pat Edgar's ankle uh, that we talked about uh, is starting to come back from it. He's still day to day. So but those are the guys that are out. Um, I did release a, a depth chart. Uh, Mike, when are you going to put that out? Tonight. Mike will put it out tonight. It's uh, just to understand that it's very tentative. Um, you know, that, that could change on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we really have, have not even, you know, talked to guys about being starters, okay? But, you know, whoever, whoever we lined up, first-team offense, first-team defense, that's what you'll see on the sheet, which, again, could change Saturday morning. It could change next Tuesday. It can change for the spring game. Uh, but that's kind of where we stand with that. Uh, got a coach's clinic this weekend, um, Friday night, and, and Saturday morning we'll have uh, Coach Dunlap's uh, done a great job of, of cultivating uh, a lot of coaches. We're expecting around 300 coaches to, to, to be at this. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll be coming in um, uh, Friday. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll speak Friday night, and we got about six high school coaches that are all uh, very, very successful high school coaches that will be speaking Saturday morning, and then they'll, they'll, they'll come to practice on Saturday. Um, you know, other than that, we got, obviously, we got four practices left. Saturday will be you know, a, a heavy, heavy practice. We're, we haven't had a full scrimmage, and, and we won't have one until Tuesday. Uh, we, we, we have many scrimmages at the end of practice, which is what we've done this week. It's been good. Uh, just starting to move the ball. We've been focusing way more on fundamentals and teaching, you know, and, and, and trying to get good at, at uh, technique uh, football and, and gradually uh, – Obviously, run a lot of team reps, but gradually start talking about moving the ball, getting off the field on third downs, uh, that sort of thing. So we've been doing some mini scrimmages at the end of practice for the last couple of days. We'll do that again Saturday, and then Tuesday we'll kind of have, you know, probably our biggest scrimmage of, of, the, of the spring. Thursday is non-padded, can't do a whole lot Thursday, and then uh, the spring game on Saturday. So uh, getting closer, uh, you know, been a lot, of, a lot of teaching, a lot of evaluating. Uh, and this is, you know, we've obviously still got a long ways to go on all three sides of the ball. I'm not prepared to <clears throat> name any starters, not prepared to, uh, you know, in my mind, figure out what kind of team we're going to have yet. We're still trying to figure that out. Uh, but I do like the effort that these guys are playing with, the attention that these guys are playing with. They come in, they're eager to learn. Uh, you know, no, it, nobody thinks we're any good. So uh, I encourage our guys not to read anything that they, you know, get online and, message boards and, and publications and you know, even some of y'all's work, I uh, encourage them not to really worry about that too much because our, like, who knows what our team's going to be like. The only people that can dictate that is coaches and players who <coughs> come in every day and we're ready to work and we get better every day. Uh, that's got to continue all the way up until the first game. So, it's kind of where we're at. Take some questions. Been, yeah, pretty much. It's that, it's that little guy in the back been, <laughs> been hestering me and pestering me and, and you know, poking me and all that kind of stuff. So I figured I'd make it a little bit easier for our media relations department, which we have a tremendous relationship with media relations. We want to keep them on our side. So they needed something for the spring game. So you know, that would at least be a tentative depth chart. If nothing else, you can see who's playing what position. Now, obviously, first team might mean second team in the spring and the fall. We add another 20 guys that we expect to come in to compete for, you know, playing time. So, you know, even if that's the way it is right now for a playing tomorrow, then it's going to change 
uh, come September 1st, come August 1st, all the rest. So you can at least see what he's got, where they're playing, and that that better even change between now and in, in, in August. You know, guys are going to get bigger. You take a guy like Sean Walters, who came here as a safety, and then he moved to outside backer, and now he's playing inside backer. So guys get bigger, they you know they mature. And who knows what their ceiling is as far as what their height and weight and speed and all that stuff's going to be as they go. You know, we were watching him catch punts, and it was it was really, what is today, Thursday? It was Tuesday. Uh, you guys were out there, and I was watching Vernon catch and run, and he was he was running forward uh, at, a, at, a, at a fast rate, and he was running backwards. And he was sticking his toe on the ground, he was fluid, and he was coming off his cut. So I just kept him down there. I mean, we do this periodically. Uh, it looked good enough to us on Tuesday to keep him on offense on Thursday, whether that's a bonafide full-time position move, we'll probably just keep evaluating that. But he, he did look better moving forward than he did backwards. It's not like you don't need the help of the corner, though. Is that a concern? Well, we need, we, need, we need guys at corner to step up and be players. We, we, can't, we can't get rid of the people we had and bring in six new people. This isn't the NFL. Which We played a lot of young corners last year that are going to get better, that we expect to get better. Uh, Vernon was somewhere around third or fourth team corner at the time, so we decided to try that receiver to see if he can crack the two deep or start that receiver. Uh, I think it's probably in the best interest of our football team to have a first team receiver as opposed to a third or fourth team corner. Did you like what you saw of him returning the punts? Is that an option? Well, I, I'm not prepared to say that yet. Uh, we're, we're, we're not going to know who our returners are for quite some time. Uh, we have about four quality guys coming in that, that we recruited to be return guys. Um, you know, we got we got guys that we're evaluating out right there right now from a return standpoint. Um, you know, it, it, I'm, no, I'm not comfortable with saying that he's a return guy at this point. He he looked good after he caught it. He looked good moving forward and being fluid and sticking his toe on the ground and coming out of his cuts, which is what you look for in a receiver. How, how are you going to handle the quarterbacks as far as the spring game goes? Will one work with one unit or? We'll mix them. What, what we've been doing in, in the previous 11 practices is, is, is Paul will go with the quote unquote first team, uh, which, you know, not only do they switch, but receivers rotate, the line and kind of go back and forth. Uh, but we keep the quarterback with a specific center, and that changes every other practice. So Paul would be first, and then the second practice, Ford was with the first group, and Paul was in the second group. We'll keep rotating all through, <coughs> all through uh, spring and, and into camp. We'll keep doing the same thing as well. Uh, in, in the spring game, we'll, we'll just we'll mix and match it. Or there'll be a lot of moving parts. It's not a game. I, would, I hope we win, but there's going to be a lot of moving parts, and you know, he, 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 spring games are tough. You, you want them, you want it to look good for the, you know, for the for the, for the audience, you know, for the fans that come. And it can be a festive day. We're going to have a good time with it. We want it to resemble football, but uh, we're not trying to make any decisions on that actual game. Hager came back today and, and was working out. While we were out there, he wasn't at center, though. Is that because of his injury, or did you plan on working him back in? Yeah, he'll, he'll be able to play other spots. He, he didn't go through. What you saw him do is about all he did. He's not ready to full-time become back, and we didn't want to put him at center with a quarterback and then him have to take himself out because it's an ankle or any of that. So we didn't feel comfortable with him going through the whole practice. So we kept the centers as they were because you got to have a rapport with the quarterback and center. I mean, you know, once you get up with your first-team, second-team guy, you take your first-team quarterback and you make him take snaps from the second-team guy, but we're so – we're so inexperienced at quarterback and center that if you start mixing and matching them too much, you're going to play some of them. So we didn't want to put Pat out there and then all of a sudden have to yank him out and put him out there. Let me get that, Bob. Yeah, I wish you would, but I am. Who do you know that isn't here? <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned not you may continue. <laughs> you mentioned not knowing people's ceilings earlier. Isaiah Bruce, uh, when he came out earlier, he, he said he wasn't – he doesn't think he has a ceiling. That, that Didn't recognize after the past year, uh, he, he feels like he still has a lot more to a lot more to prove, a lot further he can go. 
Your thoughts on Andrew this spring and what he can accomplish this game? Well, he's got, yeah, he, he, he's right. He hasn't, he's not close to his ceiling. Uh, don't, and don't know what the ceiling is. You, you're going to reach it at some point in your career. He's not even close to it. Uh, and, and mention this part, part of why we were subpar on defense last year is so many young kids that we played. I mean, you play that many young kids, you ought to be better a year from now. Right? Every, every, every freshman that played for us last year on defense should be better next year. If not, then they're not doing something right. Uh, you know, so he, yeah, he's he's in, he, he's not having his best spring right now. Uh, you know, he, he's clearly a starter, but uh, Doug Riggs is pushing him pretty, pretty hot and heavy right now. You know, which, which you know, these guys need to come in here and they need to, they don't need to be comfortable with the fact that they think that they got a starting spot. Because about the time you do that, you're going to get beat out by somebody. And, and, and I'm not saying Isaiah is doing that. Isaiah is a very determined. He's a good kid, but uh, he, he needs to keep progressing. You have this uh, team thing all, all over the place, the motto on T-shirts and posters and stuff. Uh, talked to Shaq about it the other day, and he was specifically talking about the Mountaineer mentality part and what he thought that that meant to him. Could you tell me, like, when you talk to the guys about that men Mountaineer mentality, what it is that you preach it to be? Well, it, it's, it, it's, it, it'd be hard to explain it in but one small little press conference we we have we have uh we, we've talked about that a lot you know and, and you know we, we've taken different aspects of, of what this program is about and who we are and you know embracing uh you know different traditions and understanding what the past is and understanding why it's important in this great state that sort of thing and we educate you know that that's how how are all our young kids going to understand what it's all about unless we don't educate them and we've taken a good portion of the beginning part of of, of, of this spring semester, and we're going to do it again tomorrow morning. You know, 6 a.m., we're going to get up here, and we're going to have a small little workout, we're going to come down here, and we're going to teach them. We're going to teach them about something, about, about what the program is all about. And uh, that, that, that's something that uh, I, I had to learn that. I had to learn what it was all about. I couldn't step into the this role and, and learn everything overnight. So, you know, we're, we're, we're teaching all the new coaches. We're, we're teaching all the new players. We're reinforcing why specific things are important, and we're going to a whole bunch of them. Is that where Shannon Dawson is singing Country Roads or the fight song? We wouldn't let him actually sing it. Uh, uh, he, he, the, o the only way that would have worked is if we had a karaoke machine that could overcome his actual real voice. Uh, he can't play the piano, which is actually impressive. But we don't let him sing. Uh, he, does, he does have a couple of places he likes to go for karaoke and, and sing. And <laughs> depending on what time of the night it is, he gets a, gets a standing ovation. Uh, he did last uh, uh, last Friday morning. You know, we, we taught him about the history of Country Roads. You know, and half of them knew who John Denver was, and half of them didn't. It's just you get guys from so many different states. I mean, we, you know, we, we obviously have a lot of guys from a whole bunch of different states that don't understand some of the traditions, and, and it's our job to teach them that. Uh, so we taught them all about Country Roads and. Attempted to teach him what the lyrics were, and then after practice on Saturday, when after I broke it and played it, and sat there and enjoyed it. It's a good feeling. It's one of the best traditions in college football. That's not country roads that you hear downstairs. She didn't sing that one. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Okay, uh, next week we'll have, uh, you know, one more crack at the assistants, one more crack at the players, and then everybody will be available after the spring game. Got it? All right, thanks, guys.